You ever been driving along as a shaver driver and asked yourself, I wonder what is the difference between Carrier and Thermal King? You're in luck, because today I'm going to show you. Well, here we have ourselves a Thermal King Precedent S700. As you can see, we have a control box with simple controls and our indicator box. Here's your, your plug-in to download the computer. Let's go and look at our neighbor. Our neighbor has a carrier unit. Our carrier unit has a emergency off for maintenance. This is the power on and off button. There are all the buttons for controlling it. And there's your indicator, right? The black one up here. It'll be yellow on top, green on the bottom. Thermal King, right there, has a T and a K. And when everything's good, you'll see the white T. When it's not good, you see the K. Bad info. So, let's turn it on and see how it works. Here's the on and off button. Click it one time. And it's going to power up. Now, it's going to take a minute. It's not just going to kick in the gear and go. We're going to come over here and do the same. Hit the power control switch, and it turns on. Now, on older carrier units, there's an on and off toggle switch right here. You're going to press and hold until you see the light flash. When the light flashes up there, that means it's powering on, just like that one did right there. And we got a green light on that one. Let's go over here to our Thermo King is still configuring. But we're going to look at a couple of the things here. First off, there are two things that you need to immediately know. One is how to change modes, and the other is how to defrost. So, let's look at this first. Look right here, start, stop. This is on the carrier unit, all right? But pay real close attention to that symbol. You got the thermal or the defrost button right here, okay? I'm only showing you the differences. If you want to know what these things do, look back at my previous video on uh, pre tripping or wait to the end of this and I'll tell you. But look at those two symbols. Let's go to the Thermal King without it being on. Oh, look, we got a white light. Diesel engine starting to hear the hum. Okay. Look at that. That's your defrost button. It looks like rain. Very similar to the carrier unit. The two eyeballs look very similar to the carrier unit. That is your start, stop, and continuous. And that is your defrost. Let's turn that off for a minute. We're going to come over here. And on the carrier unit, we're going to show you how to do a pre trip. Hit the menu button, you see pre trip right there. Click on pre trip, then you're going to hit the equal sign to start it. It'll turn off. Bam, look at there. Now it's going to run through a pre trip, which is probably good. I don't know when it was dropped, and we don't know when it was last pre trip, but it needs to be done anyway, so. Let's go back over to our Thermo King unit. We're going to turn it back on for a second. And I will show you guys how to activate a... Uh... Actually, we're not going to do the pre-trip on this one. I will show you how to change your internal temperatures. Remember, mode, start, stop, continuous, and defrost. Sorry. Defrost, start, stop, continuous. Important information right there, folks. You really need to know that. Okay? She's configuring. Now, if you want to know what the inside of that Thermal King looks like, it's going to look very similar to that. Okay, there's going to be oil at the bottom, a diesel generator, and a refrigerator on top. Pretty much how it works. See? Ta da. Let's go start it up. Okay. For here it says set point. Click the set point. Oh man, it's 
going to start. Sorry. Ooh, I hate that noise. Set point. Up or down. I don't know how to do this. I don't know. Set a set point. You need. Okay, yes. Now he's going to say it's doing it. And we just turn on cycle sentry mode. That would be defrost if we wanted it to. Now, if you want to do a pre trip, you can go to menu. Select pre trip. And it'll start it. Over here, let's go ahead and. Uh, we're going to stop that, exit out. So there you go, we got the screen, and we want to change the temperature. There's your sensor, you got the up and down arrow right here, right? Get down until you get to whatever it is you're looking for. We're going to set it for 50. Hit the enter button. Set point change. If you don't see that, it didn't happen. Let's see what the alarm is. Pre-trip started by you, or stopped by me. There you are, and back, there you go. All right, if you look, it's on continuous mode. We want to put it on start and stop. Start and stop is now on there. If you wanted it to defrost, you hit the defrost button. Go ahead and shut her down, just hit the button, and she turns herself off. All right, if you come over here and try to start one of these and it doesn't start up right away, make sure that this toggle is in the up position. This is your maintenance toggle. When this goes down, they cannot, I mean, these can be remotely started by Lincoln. Okay, so make sure that this is up, unless you're inside doing maintenance or something and then you'll turn it down. But as a general operator, you should have no reason to be in there except to do your pre-trip. Refer to previous video. Let's go over here and turn our, uh, Thermal King off. There we go. Turned her off. She shuts down. We're good to go. That, in a nutshell, is the difference between our carrier units, which if you drive up on one and maybe you didn't see carrier ready, but if you look at that indicator right here, that's every carrier unit. And every thermal king unit, they're distinctly different. All right. I know I didn't just make you an expert like me, but it helps. You need to know the difference between your carrier units and your thermal king units and how to program each. All right. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll be more than glad to get back to you and share my knowledge. That's the whole point of this is to give my knowledge away. It doesn't do any good in my head when there's others out here that can use it, benefit from it, and be profitable by it. All right, my name is Rob. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Smash the bell icon. Be notified when I put out more content because it's coming. All right, and uh, I hope you have a great day. And remember, as always, rubber side down, shiny side up. Keep it between the lines. I love you guys. Thank you.